Hi, I'm Phil with Right Row. Today I want to show you one way that you can build and hang a bed swing with rope. There are many different styles and designs of swings that you can build or buy and many different ways to hang them. We're going to show you today how we recommend doing it. If you like this swing that we built, there will be a PDF instructional in the description that you can download and follow along if you like. We will also post links to all the other products we used as well. We recommend hanging a bed swing with these stainless steel hangers and S hooks. We have a link in the description for those products as well. These stainless steel swing hangers come with lag bolts for installation. Be sure you have adequate framing to support the weight of the swing and riders. Lay out and pre-drill the holes with a quarter inch bit for softwoods or a 5 16 bit for hardwoods. Install the hangers with a 17 millimeter socket. Hang the S hooks from the hanger brackets. These S-hooks are made from 12 millimeter thick stainless steel and can fit up to two inch diameter rope. They have a load limit of 500 pounds each. We have tested them to over 1,000 pounds each, but recommend a maximum load of 500 pounds each. There are many different types of rope you can use to hang your bed swing. We recommend using either polyester or pro manila. Polyester is the longest lasting synthetic fiber for outdoor use. We have that available in eight strand or three strand ropes in white, black, or tan. Pro Manila rope, like what we used, is also available in three strand or eight strand varieties and is a great overall value. We also have natural fiber ropes like Manila, Sisal, Jute, and Cotton, but we don't really recommend them because they tend to stretch and mold and shrink due to the moisture. You can order your ropes from rightrope.com with eye splices on one or both ends. We can customize the size of the loops for you. For this project, we used a four inch diameter eye splice on the top and an eight inch diameter eye splice on the bottom. When you order your rope from Right Rope, you can order it the exact length you need. The length you select will be the finished length from end to end, including the eye splices. If you plan to tie a stopper knot for the bottom to hold the swing in place, plan on using about 12 times the diameter of the rope to make the knot. So for a one inch rope, you would need about 12 inches of rope to make the knot. For this two inch rope, it would require about 24 inches of rope to make the knot. For the attachment points on the bottom of the swing, it really depends on the design of your swing. Many of them have a hole that you feed the rope down through and tie a stopper knot. Some of them have eye bolts that you can tie the rope around. There are many different ways people do it. We chose to install these carrier beams underneath the swing and put a spliced loop around them to carry the swing. You may not be able to set up your swing like this one if it's not built this way. Head on over to rightrope.com to pick up all of these swing hanging materials. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more great content like this. Visit rightrope.com to get the right rope at the right price.